go from there? Yeah. All right, so go. Yep. Okay. My name's Rosie and this is my story. I grew up in a Catholic faith system, so I went to church on Sundays and constantly felt like I couldn't earn God's love. I had all of these things that were required by me. I was trying to find fulfillment in anything I could grab a hold of, whether that was in parties, um, friendships or relationships. And no matter how hard I like grabbed onto anything, um, at the end of the day, it was putting your head on the pillow, your pillow at night and just feeling alone in a big world. As I was growing up and trying to find that fulfillment that I was talking about, I noticed those people who seemed to have something that I couldn't quite put my finger on, but they seemed so content and joyful no matter what life threw their way. They were always just so happy and I wanted to know why that was. Why couldn't I have this? Two of those people happened to be my sister Mandy and my brother-in-law Ty. They, I saw something transform inside them and the way they lived their life that I wanted to know, understand, and have. So I had a few conversations with them um, that really stuck out to me and changed my life. We talked about growing up Catholic and kind of how we felt and not feeling like we were ever good enough, always falling short. That's when I ran across 1 Timothy 2, 5 through 6, which sums up how there's only one mediator between God and humanity, and that is Jesus Christ. Uh, he died uh, to give freedom for everyone. And that's kind of when I walked through the ABCs. Um, I acknowledged my sins and accepted Jesus and who he was, believed in him, and then called him and invited him into my life. After that, I saw a lot of transformation. I was no longer searching for fulfillment. No matter what life threw my way, I knew that Jesus would always be by my side. I know that the truth um, is in God's word and through his son Jesus I have found love, righteousness, and that joy I had always been longing for.